Meet TensorFlow, Timmy, and PyTorch Peter. They told me it was production ready. They also told you Google Glass was the future. Look where that is now. I've been debugging for four days straight. Damn, that's crazy. Me, I trained my model, fine-tuned it, deployed it in production, and still had time to hit the gym. But, but TensorFlow has Keras. Oh, <laughs> you mean deep learning for babies? What have I done? Hey, my name is Dev, and I'm the creator of GPT Learning Hub. This channel is all about becoming less like Timmy and more like Peter. Timmy is forcefully pulled into Peter's world, a neon lit den. Screens glow, code runs, Peter sips a protein shake like it's whiskey. What? Where am I? Welcome to the world of PyTorch, Timmy. Let me show you why it's so much better. Peter pulls up a split screen. One side, PyTorch code, clean and readable. The other side, TensorFlow code, a horror of session.run and decorators. Wait, what the hell is this tf.function decorator? That? That's TensorFlow gaslighting you. It tells you it's Pythonic, but in reality, you're writing dark magic just to execute a function. So in PyTorch, I can just write normal Python? No weird session.run? Exactly. TensorFlow makes you beg it to work, PyTorch just listens. Dear God, what have I done? Timmy's sweating, he's debugging TensorFlow. Errors flash across the screen. What do you mean unknown error? How is that helpful? <laughs> Bro, TensorFlow errors are like trying to read hieroglyphics. In PyTorch, you can just print the tensor. So you're telling me in PyTorch I can just write that and it doesn't throw a fit? Yup, no sessions, no debugging hell. But TensorFlow scales better. That's why Google uses it. Oh, you sweet, naive child. Torch distributed, deep speed, FSDP, PyTorch has all the scalability without TensorFlow's Google tax. So TensorFlow doesn't actually scale better. It just makes everything feel more painful. Bingo. Six months later. Damn, Timmy, look at you. Fully converted. You were right, Peter. PyTorch is superior. Next, check out my video on DeepSeek. I know the hype is starting to die down, but DeepSeek's impact isn't going anywhere. It's time to lock in. Check out this video next. You don't want to miss it. And as always, don't be a TensorFlow Timmy.